Hey guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to verify your domain if your website is on WordPress. So we are going to try three different ways to do this. We will be starting with the easiest, which is the meta tag verification. So let's do it. If you're on your business manager, make sure to go to brand safety and click on domains and then click add and type in your domain name. And then click add and it will show you, it should show you the instructions. So let's give that a refresh. As you can see here, we have three different ways, DNS verification, HTML file upload, and meta tag verification. The easiest one is the meta tag verification. Just copy it, go to your WordPress site. Maybe you have a plugin that allows you to insert headers and footers. You just paste that in and click save. Go back to WordPress or rather Facebook, click on verify and it should be good to go. Or is it? <laughs> okay, it's a success. That is good. Just click refresh. You should see a green button right here. That is how easy it is. Afterwards, don't forget to assign any partners if you have any. Make sure to assign the page that you have or that you want to connect with this domain. And that's it. Easy peasy. Okay, round two. We are going to try to verify using a different method. Let's do it. Again, go to your business manager, click on brand safety, click on domains, click add here, type in the name of your domain and click add domain. We are going to try and verify using the second option, the second easiest option for me which is the HTML file upload. So you can do this if you have access to your uh, hosting account and you can access your file manager here. So ideally you have access to your cPanel. Okay, so all you need to do is download your HTML verification file. Once that's downloaded, you want to go to your file manager. Just going to open my file right here. Okay, and you want to go to public underscore HTML. And here you just want to drag and drop that. That's it. So let's see if it will verify. That's it. So super easy. Again, give it a refresh. Make sure this is colored green. And then connect your page. Very easy, right? We are on to our last method of domain name verification. And for me, this is the most technologically challenging and most invasive out of the three options. So I'd say if you've tried the first one, which is the meta tag verification and the HTML file upload and those two didn't work, then go for this. The instructions should be easy to follow, right? So let's try it. Again, business manager, brand safety, domains right here and click add. Type in your domain name, click add domain, give it a refresh so that it shows you your options. We've tried HTML file upload, we've tried meta tag verification. Both options worked earlier, so we are now going to try DNS verification. Very simple. Copy this and then go to your cPanel, click on DNS zone editor.
this could also take up to 72 hours based on Facebook's documentation. So the first two options that we tried are, you know, it immediately verified our domain name. So I don't see why you'd go for something that will take 72 hours if it could take a second. So here, DNS records, choose TXT. You want a TXT record for name, leave it as app, text value, paste in the, the code or the line, the piece of code that we copied over from the instructions and TTL, just leave it as is and click add record. All right, let's refresh this, go back to Facebook, hit verify, and it's verified, yay. So it's great that it took like just a second to verify, but in some cases it can take up to 72 hours. And you wanna leave that there on your DNS record. Don't delete it because uh, according to documentation from time to time, Facebook could check if it's still there and you might lose your domain name verification if you remove it. Again, connected assets, choose your page so that your page can use your newly verified domain name. That's it. If you have any questions at all, please leave me a message in the comment section below or email me at hello at Thank you so much and I hope this helped you. Bye!